Want to win one of 10 iPads or up to $10,000? It's the 25th anniversary of .com, so tell us how .com has changed your life. Write your story at howdoyou.com and you could win. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all make it cool. And today we're continuing some of those Windows 7 tweaks. Going to show you a little pimp with that taskbar. So let's step into my office and get started. But before we do that, can you believe it's been 25 years since .com came around? 25 years. That is the crazy. Now VeriSign is celebrating that anniversary by having a contest because they want to find out how .coms have changed your life. Now, an example is, uh, how, of how dot-coms have changed my life, especially as a DJ, is uh, looking for drum and bass vinyl here locally uh, has been frustrating. That's, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Very frustrating. Sometimes I can't find what I'm looking for, and what I do find is kind of lame as far as my tastes go. Enter dnbsource.com. Those guys completely changed my life as a drum and bass DJ. So now records that probably won't be here for, uh, for weeks, months, maybe even a year, I'm getting within a couple of weeks delivered to my door thanks to the guys at dnbsource.com. So now, instead of angrily yelling at the, at the vinyl gods for not finding what I'm looking for, I'm praising them openly for being able to buy this stuff online. So that's an example of how a .com's kind of changed my life. So VeriSign wants to know how a .com has changed your life. So head on over to how, howdoyou.com and submit your story. Now, if they like it and it's good enough, it could net you $10,000 or one of 10 iPads. Um, wow, Maddie, do I qualify for that? Because $10,000, man, I could buy a lot of vinyl. Not with that story. Ouch. Ouch, though. All right, so let's get started with this pimp, guys. Now, what I was talking about before is your taskbar. Now, a couple of other episodes, we've talked about third-party software where you can actually have uh, sort of an OS X looking dock running on your Windows 7. But maybe you're saying, hey, Lucas, I like Windows 7. I want to use what they gave me. I hear you, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So now you can see the taskbar here. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there's kind of limited in what you can do, though. Now, you can see we can move some icons around and, and rearrange them. But if I want my Firefox over here, wah, 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 so that didn't work, right? So what we're going to do is show you how to center those icons, make it look a little more uh, OS X, or as my associate producer Michael calls it, sexy. So let's get started on that right now, guys. The beauty of this pimp is there are no downloads or third-party stuff that you need to get. Everything you need to do this pimp, right here, ready, ready at your fingertips. So what we're going to do is head over to our, our Documents folder, and we're going to create a folder called CTI. Now, I'm pretty sure we decided that that stands for Center Taskbar Icons. If it doesn't, sorry, but we're just going to go with that because it sounds right, doesn't it? So now we've got that done. You can close down your icons. Head over to your taskbar. Right-click on it. Make sure it's not locked. It's very important if you're going to change it up. So we're going to head over to Toolbars, and we're going to hit on New Toolbar. And then what we're going to do is go to our Documents Library, select that CTI folder, and, uh, and there it is. So you can see the CTI kind of pops down in the lower right hand of our taskbar, and you see your sliders there as well. So now the first thing we want to do is right-click on that CTI, and we're going to lose the Show Title option. That gets rid of the CTI because that's kind of an eyesore, right? The next thing we want to do is take our left-hand slider here, and we're going to pop that guy all the way over to the right. And then we're going to take our right-hand slider and move that guy over to the right just a little bit. Now, we don't want to move it all the way over, and you want to bump it just a little bit more than you want, because when you lock that taskbar, see it pops over to the left just a little bit. And I didn't get mine centered on that time, but hey, you know what? I, maybe the third time will be the charm. Now, once you've got that done, you just want to lock your taskbar so that you can't make any other changes, and that's where you get that OS X looking dock. Now, the cool thing is, is you can go through, and just like you would any other time, you can go to any of these programs and, uh, and pin them to your taskbar, and you'll see they'll just keep showing up just like that. The other cool thing you can do is go to your taskbar, go to the properties, and you can do stuff like use the small icons, uh, move the, uh, the taskbar around, we'll throw it up on top here, and say OK. So there you go, guys. That's a way to bring a little Mac functionality and a little bit of a Mac aesthetic to your Windows 7 operating system. My man Michael, who's actually a hardcore Mac user, when he walked over, the first thing he noticed about my desktop was the centered icons on the taskbar. And if you can make those Mac users notice a Windows operating system, you're doing something right. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com and hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com. Let me know if there's any more of those Windows 7 tweaks you guys want to see. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!